first unload, harvest 19. I'm Tony Fast, and my family has been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, he said he'd be here at 5. Take 5 ish, a couple minutes later. Transport load of fuel. Usually around about two of these a year. Imagine how much more we've used if uh, we did tillage. Chuck just left, brought 8,500 gallons of dyed fuel and 2,000 gallons of clear, I think, to get us through harvest and then some. So, how about uh, I'll put the link for the GoFundMe page, come and pay for that. It's being pricey, I'm sure. So here's the rundown of what's going on. Aiden and Rob are going to go hopefully finish family today. Dad, Amy, and my father-in-law and I are going to do some combine and some peas around home. Hopefully finish up by the fields that we can get into now. Move north today and go start cutting the peas up north there on uh, that farm. Meantime, I'm on my way over to hop in uh, the semi that has some lentils on it from last year. Dump that at the elevator and then get home and help them with getting combines ready to go. That's the plan. Subject to change, just like any other day on the farm. But what do you do? That's farming. I never get that, like, oh, farmers, they do the same thing. Sit in the tractor, do the same thing every day. No, it's always different, at least on our place. Always changing, always something new. It's the way it is. So here is our, some of our first seed of winter wheat. And that month that we didn't have any rain, we ended up uh, really getting some uh, a lot of crop stress and kind of shutting down some of the plants. Normally, winter wheat really thickens up. It'll stool where it'll send extra shoots up, more heads. Besides just like a main one or two, they're usually really thick plants. Because it was dry, it cut back and it didn't send those stools. It was sort of getting rain, and all these stools came later. So we've got shorter stubble, which is great. We won't have that much material to run through the combine then. There's lots of heads here now, but they're really green. So I, I kind of wonder if we won't even cut some spring wheat before this winter wheat's right, but uh, I'm really excited to cut it. It looks great. All right, back to combining. In a grain cart right now, for a little while until our grain cart driver gets back to town and then I'll be driving a truck. But uh, I got Amy in one combine, Jazz in the other combine. Good morning to you too, Windmail. 
Conveyor. 370. Why not? That's what tractor we got around for. We're topping off with fuel. Got headers off, combines ready to move up north. We have all the uh, fees that we can cut here done. We got an inch, inch to inch and a half of rain forecast for Sunday, so it's go time. Two at a time now. Well, we got a late start today. Last night we had a few sprinkles, nothing really major, but this morning when we were ready to start cutting again, it got really humid and foggy. So that shut us down for a few hours. And uh, as you can tell, there's a lot more uh, chaff and stuff here compared to what was last night. And uh, that's just the tougher, tougher crop. Uh, doesn't chew up as much in the combine, so we leave some of that behind. But uh, we're going now. We got rain coming uh, tomorrow afternoon, so we're trying to get a bunch of cut today and uh, see what we can do. Well, my header stopped turning, stopped working, slipped much weight, and rock. Not sure how that thing got missed, but. We don't need that in the combine, so off we go. I think that's not very nice, passing on the right like that. It's supposed to pass on the left. Let's 
starting to get tough out again. That humidity is just killing us on productivity right now. See how underneath this combine, it should be, you know, really nothing on the ground. Chaff should be just dust, but it's all laying on top here. And really tough. Might actually make it a little difficult to seed next spring, but uh, pea vines usually break down when they dry out, they get real brittle. So I think we'll be fine for seed next year. Well, we shut down for the night. Too wet, too humid. Um, we'd like to keep on going because we got rain forecasted for Sunday afternoon, um, but we're shut down. We don't uh, work on Sundays. That's our uh, day we get to go to church, spend time with the family. A lot of people think, I think we're crazy for not working on Sundays, but that's what, uh, that's what we do. It's what the Lord commanded us to do. So we observe the Sabbath and spend our day thanking God for what he's given us.